Right. We're going to jump out to the Players Fund Center phone line right now and visit with the founder of Maine Outdoor Solutions, uh, Ken Johnson. Ken, I, I ran across this. I think I was reading an article in an outdoor magazine. I, I'm not exactly sure. I have certainly been aware uh, of uh, smells and skunk urine and doe urine, uh, having been in the outdoors for as long as I have. But man, you go, you guys go well beyond that, do you not? Yes, we do, <laughs> and and we've we've got an interesting <clears throat> story of how it all came about. So, let me hear it. All right. Well, um, back in the '80s, I was uh, at a marketing company, and one of my clients was uh, Wayne Bosowitz, and he was a <clears throat> very well known. Um, bear hunting guide Mm -hmm. Uh, his guide service was called foggy mountain guide service here in maine and he had a camp in ontario as well um he was well known in the industry uh he was named north american guide outfitter uh, outfitter of the year by north american hunter during that period um and he was he was a real force in the hunting world um he had very interesting, a uh, very interesting mix of clients, uh, including uh, Ted Nugent, mm-hmm. Hank Williams Jr., um, Wayne Lapierre, head of the NRA, and a bunch of other people. And he was uh, that was my introduction to the hunting world at mm-hmm. that time. And he had come up with a couple of products uh, that he he was just giving to his hunters when they came. Because bear uh, bear hunting, uh, bears have an incredible uh, sense of smell. Mm. And uh, the biggest challenge for a hunter was to be able to get uh, close enough uh, undetected. Yep. And Wayne had developed this product called uh, that he called ProCover. And he mixed it up in his barn, and it was, he was just giving it out to his, mm. his uh, hunters. And, you know, one thing led to another, and the hunters were asking him for more to send them to to send them to him. And uh, I was doing the marketing for his uh, guide service, and so we started talking about putting this product on the market. And then we did. And then several years later, <clears throat> I bought the product line from him and expanded it uh, with his help over the years uh, to to the kind of product line we have now. Mm-hmm. Were were you a chemist? No, I was a marketing guy. <laughs> <laughs> so so how did you end up coming up with all these scents that you have on the market now? Well, part of it again was Wayne's knowledge of of working with the animals for mm-hmm. many many years. Mm-hmm. And uh you know, he he just uh we played around with different things uh Environmental ones, you know, for example, the the idea, the basic idea, is that you either attract the game, yes, or you camouflage your human scent, yep. to get closer, yep. And uh, as we say in our slogan, you're only human, but you don't have to smell like one. <laughs> you, you, so you did not obviously come from an outdoors background necessarily, right? No, I didn't. Um, Wayne introduced me to that, and then I got more involved, obviously, over the years. Mm-hmm. But the, uh, And again, most of our products, <clears throat> um, well, I'd say all of them, you know, you, you're, you've got somebody who, uh, who's in that life every day, yes. Wayne, and he's able to do the testing. And then, uh, you know, the, the customer feedback, mm. you know, people don't buy it if it don't work. <laughs> how, <laughs> you know? So how do you, how do you capture coyote scent or mountain lion scent or the wolf scent how how does that happen okay well uh the the transition from the hunting uh market to the lawn and garden market yes was a pretty significant one uh, and it happened in 1986 and we were exclusively selling hunting products um primarily through dealers and uh that was before the internet and uh, one spring, outside of hunting and trapping season, we get an order for fox urine mm-hmm. from an agway store in New Hampshire. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, you know, kind of curious about that. So I call him up and say, well, 
it's kind of interesting. Uh, why are you buying it this time of year? And he says, well, everybody around here uses it to keep the rabbits out of their garden. Mm. And that was a, kind of a light bulb moment for me, you know, nice. thinking from a marketing guy again, <laughs> yep. that the lawn, and, the lawn and garden market was uh, perhaps, well, is significantly larger than the hunting market. Mm-hmm. So it was something that we uh, decided to move into. And again, it's a it's a fascinating thing when you're working with urines because you're really just uh, taking what the way things work in nature mm-hmm. and changing the purpose, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, so this idea of being able to use a urine, the urine of a predator, in order to send a message to another animal that would be a prey of yes. those predators um, – it's it's fascinating because you know you you can you can picture it. You say you, a deer comes into your yard, and he sees that beautiful arborvitae <laughs> edge that you've got, and he starts moving towards it, and all of a sudden he catches the the a whiff of a coyote. Yeah, he's got a decision to make. Yeah, and instinct tells him what that decision will be. You have something uh, to repel feral hogs. Yes. Uh, the feral hogs, uh, mountain lion urine is, okay. is the one for feral hogs. Yeah. That's Is that the only one that works or the, or just the one that works the best? It's the one that works the best. Some use it. Um, some use it for uh, use wolf urine. Mm-hmm. In fact, <clears throat> one of our uh, we sell worldwide and our distributor in Japan uh, buys it, buys wolf urine mm-hmm. pretty much exclusively to keep the wild boar out of the rice paddocks. Wow. So how much of the product does it take, and over how long a period of time will it last? Well, it's again, it's a natural product, so the, the, the fresher or the fresher yeah. the application, the stronger the message. Yes. Um, so we, we have a dispenser. Um, we call it a 33-day dispenser because it's a, it's – uh, a, a little a vial mm-hmm. that holds about an ounce or so of urine mm-hmm. that you hang on a stake every 10 feet around the area you want to pre- prevent, uh-huh. uh, protect. And, you know, that we say freshen it up once a month, and <laughs> that works fine. What is your best-selling product, Ken? Well, it, that, again, is interesting because when we first started uh, doing it, uh, coyote urine was our biggest seller, and it was it was used primarily for the deer problem. Yes. But over time, we've been doing this almost 40 years now, is over time, uh, another urine has caught up to it. And it's wolf urine. Mm-hmm. And that's because of the uh, the what what's now a huge problem across the country, even in cities, is a coyote problem. Yes. So the, the wolf urine repels coyotes. Um, they don't. Their territories don't mix. You uh, I, and I, I told my daughter about this because she had a fox get in her uh, chicken coop. And so I'm guessing you you sell a lot of protection for for chickens and people who raise chickens as well. Yeah, um, the, the chicken market has grown. And, and again, it, it, it's interesting because in all of these product categ- uh, products that in our predator urine line, they, so many of them have been developed from customer feedback or customer questions. Mm-hmm. And the, the chicken market is an interesting one because obviously foxes and other yes. uh, raccoons and things are a, a problem that the urines can deal with. But another major problem for chicken people is hawks. Hawks, yep. Now, hawks don't respond to a, a sense of smell. Mm. Their defense is their eyesight. Correct. And uh, so working with um, somebody that I knew from the University of Maine who who was a raptor specialist, mm-hmm. um, we came up with a product that we call Hawk Stopper, which is a very fine monofilament netting that you hang mm. over, the, over the chicken coops or the runs. Mm. Now, to a hawk, that, that their eyesight is so keen, they can see that. Yes grid from high yes. high up and it looks like steel bars to them amazing uh, so it's a visual deflection and that's become a very big seller for us too 
So what what percentage now of your business is uh, just, I, I would call it more uh, urban in, in terms of gardens and things like that versus uh, hunters who are still wanting your product? Yes. I mean, it, the, the, the garden, lawn garden market is, is the major part of our business wow. now. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What 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 do hunters usually? Uh, what what's your biggest selling item to outdoorsmen? The two biggest selling items are the the original Pro Cover uh, that Wayne developed uh, as a camo scent, and our our hot dough, which is a dough and heat yes, yes. Um, urine. So the, the, two. the the first one it, uh, neutralizes human scent. Is that what it does? It, yeah, and actually, uh, it's kind of a confusion element. It's it it camouflages the scent so that it's not something that's frightening uh, yes. to the animals. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and and that comes in spray bottles. I'm guessing it does. Okay. Yeah, it comes in two four and eight ounce bottles, and they're squeeze squeeze or spray, whichever mm-hmm. one you get. Yeah. And, and um, so how 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 many of these products are are uh, come in liquid form? How many of them in spray form, or or do you combine them, or uh, can you get both? Yeah, they're they're all in liquids with, a, and most of them have a spray uh, attachment, so that you can you can use it either way mm-hmm. as, a, as a straight liquid or spray. It. Yeah. You you mentioned that uh, already. You have clients in, in Japan. Uh, your 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 business goes worldwide, Ken. Yes, it does. Uh, and and who who outside of the United States is your best client? Uh, well, the the Japan is our biggest. Yeah. Really. Yeah. And because of wild boars, are there many other things that you that you're selling there? It's primarily it's used for an, in commercial applic, uh, agriculture applications. Okay, uh, we it's it's hard to imagine, but we they buy so much that we have to ship it ocean freight. Oh my gosh, unbelievable! <laughs> that that is incredible. Um, I, I'm, my thinking is there are so many, uh, wild pigs around all over the United States now that, that, that part of the business has grown. Has it not? Yes, it has. Yes, it has. And, and, and primarily you're, you're looking at, at coyote or, uh, do you use wolf urine for hogs as well? Or is coyote the it's main the, one? It's the, no, it's a mountain lion urine mountain and, lion. and yeah. wolf, those two. Yeah. Mountain, mountain lion and wolf. And, yep. and so... What do you have to keep mountain lions away? <laughs> <laughs> when you get up that high on the food chain, yeah, it's a little challenging. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, we do we do sell bear urine, which has a has an impact on wolves. So, Interesting. Okay. Yeah. And what the, the other one the the other product that's quite interesting um, in its applications. We sell a tremendous amount of uh, skunk essence. Mm-hmm. Now, skunk essence is, you know, for the real hardcore hunter. Absolutely. Who really wants to camouflage. You know what? I, I, and, I've, and used lose all his I've used that before. I've used that before. I have used that before. But but I it, I uh, I figured out really quickly that no matter how tight the lid is and how many things you wrap it in, everything you have when you put it in your backpack is going to come out smelling like a skunk. Well, that's right. So <laughs> we we tend to have a little fun in this business, and uh, <laughs> and so when this whole when COVID hit, yes, and, and we started hearing all about social distancing, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so we have a product called Skunkum, okay, and it comes with a social distancing kit. <laughs> so that, and so we we saw. More than we should. <laughs> and the the other application that grew out of that, um, and it's going to it'll start being quite active in the next few months, is that uh, we had some inquiries from customers uh, who were in the political arena, mm-hmm. and they were saying, "You got anything to keep to to stop people from stealing our signs?" Ah. And so I said, well, skunk is, essence is perfect. So we have a product that's geared to that. Wow. So you, you can spray your political signs with skunk, <laughs> and, and they won't get touched. What a great <laughs> idea. What a great idea. So 
here's you, you have a great website. It's called Predator P store.com. I think I got that right, right? Yep. Yep. Predator just predatorp.com will get you there too. All right, predatorp.com and you can go online and look at all of these scents that you have. I, I love the idea for the political signs too as well, Ken. Uh, yep. th- this this is uh, an amazing business. Uh, you know, I look at it from the outdoors perspective and now that we've talked uh, to see how people use it around their homes and gardens is that's pretty ingenious. Well, it's, again, it's it was. Uh, I wish I could claim the idea, you know, but it was people doing it, and then we we trying to fill the need. So it you, worked out well. You took it to another level, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. Ken Johnson is the founder of Maine Outdoor Solutions. Again, online at predatorp.com.